Now what I'm going to show you now, we have talked about and many sharp-eyed viewers have known that this was an important thing about this clip for a long time. Here comes the wave. Look at the dark underlined crater in the center of your screen. Watch how it's displaced, almost like you're looking through water. There goes the wave backwards, forwards, the wave hits the crater, displaces. This wave is displacing, as if you are looking through water, the entire image of the moon. Now I've never taken the time to animate this. I have talked about it. There it is zoomed in. Now this is running at 30%, and I'm going to zoom out. There goes the wave to the top, and there's going to be another wave coming in from the bottom. Now I'm going to run this at 30%, so as the wave comes in, you can choose any landmark you want. Here comes the wave from the bottom to the top. Choose any little landmark you can see there, and watch it be displaced. Now that round-looking ring crater, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and one more time forward and I'll zoom out and you can watch it go all the way to the top again this is a 30 percent with quite a few filters like find edge and some other things invert now that means a lot that means the entire image of the moon was displaced by this wave pitcher steroid Santa Claus kicks and deals it's a long fly ball going back back and the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open. Well, since I, uh, I don't know what to trust anymore, I've uh, gone back to this a lot, especially recently. I was uh, born into a Catholic family, and this is actually my mother's Bible, but I, I keep going back to this, this that I, <laughs> a year and a half ago, made fun of to my roommate, and uh, then had to put my foot in my mouth because, uh, I don't know, this could actually be a depiction of our earth or something similar to it, but as you can see, there are waters above the firmament in this picture, and then it has firmament of the sky, which might allude to some type of liquid up here, maybe. But, of course, this is an illustration. So, I'm using this as my basis for now. Because I've been pulled back to Christianity in so many different ways in the past uh, few months. places on the ocean's floor was only just discovered in the 1990s. I might degree as one of a handful of people to ever see it in person. Without a doubt, one of the most amazing things that I had ever seen in the bottom of the ocean. It was while filming for Blue Planet it was in the Gulf of Mexico. And I noticed there's something out in the distance. Couldn't tell exactly what, but it looked like a dark band. And as we approached it, the dark band became a donut. I saw this donut that was black in the center. What the heck is that? And so as we get closer and closer to it, I noticed that the black band had what appeared to be kind of steam over it. And then I looked, and there was water lapping against the shoreline. This band was a ring of muscles. And inside the ring of muscles was a lake. And it's like, wait a minute. I'm already underwater. We went out over the water in this lake and tried to descend in it and bounced off. It was so super saline and dense that the submarine couldn't go down in it. We literally bounced off. And as we bounced off, we sent ripples heading back to the shoreline. It was insane. I've never 